Right now at 6, we are learning much more information about a deadly fall. This happened at the North Carolina Zoo. Yeah, leaders there tell us it was an arborist who fell this morning. That person fell 20 to 30 mm. feet during a routine drill. Let's go to Steve King. He is live tonight at the zoo in Asheboro. Steve, what did they say was happening when this accident occurred? Well, the director of the zoo says that the drill that was taking place consisted of an arborist practicing helping rescue another arborist from a tree when one of them fell up to 30 feet and died. Now, right now, the zoo is not releasing the name of the employee who died out of respect for the family's wishes for privacy during this incredibly difficult time. Now, this all happened before the zoo opened up in the Africa region of the park around 820 this morning. We're told that the drill is held twice a year. The sheriff's office, OSHA, the Department of Labor and zoo leadership are all now trying to figure out exactly what happened and why the arborist fell to his death. Now, when the man fell, it was away from the public area and people were in line to get into the park at the time. So zoo leaders decided to open up part of the zoo and close early. Right now, WXII 12 News is hearing from both zoo leaders and park visitors about this tragic death. Everyone at the zoo wishes to express our deepest condolences to the family and that we truly are devastated by the loss. It's very upsetting, very upsetting. Hopefully, hopefully all the staff overcomes it. It's pretty upsetting. Now, the zoo will be open during normal hours tomorrow. In the meantime, grief counselors are available for any employee who might need someone to talk to during this time. As for the zoo itself, this is the first time that anybody has died here at the zoo. The zoo has been open since 1974. Reporting live in Ashboro, Steve King, WXII 12 News.